Come on. Come on. You can do it, little ducks. Gambate. Gambate. <gasps> There's more of them. <laughs> They're so cute. Welcome to Ishikawa Town in Fukushima Prefecture in Japan. Last time you guys saw me, I was living in Hokkaido working for Interac, which is a private English teaching company. But now I live in Fukushima Prefecture teaching for the JET program. The transition has been really great. Uh, I have much fewer schools here than I did in Hokkaido, so it feels like I can get more deeply involved in each school and everything. Um, a lot of people have definitely been asking me, which do I prefer, Interact or the JET program, which is better? I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but for about 90% of you who are watching this, um, I would definitely say that JET is probably the way to go for you, albeit it's much harder to get into. Uh, you might get it rejected a couple times like me, but um, if you can get in, I would definitely say go with the JET program for most of you. On the JET program, you get a lot of pretty cool deals, such as a subsidized apartment, like this one that I am now living in. I promise, my YouTube title, that was not clickbait. Well, maybe it was, but no, it wasn't. Literally, out of pocket, I am paying 58 US dollars a month for this apartment. 5,800 yen, 58 US dollars. Oh wait, please excuse me, I made a miscalculation. The yen's a lot weaker than I thought. So actually, my monthly rent is uh, $51.15. Now, if I wasn't subsidized uh, by the JET program, by the BOE, by whoever else, whoever decides these subsidations, my rent for this place would be 40,000 Japanese yen per month, which is about 400 US dollars. I also would have had to pay key money, which is kind of like thank you money, literally translated. Uh, to the landlord, which is another 40,000 Japanese yen, 400 US dollars. And then I would have also had to pay a security deposit, which would be another 40,000 yen and uh, 400 US dollars. So enough talking. Let's check out the apartment. Come on. Okay, let's head into the apartment. This is the Gengkan. This is where you take off your shoes before you go into the building. Or if you're me, your fashionable Crocs. Just take these off. So you can see this is a lot smaller than uh, the Genkan I had in my Hokkaido apartment, including the shoe closet. I mean, look at this. My my shoes are uh, barely, barely even fitting in here. So uh, yeah, this is the kitchen area. It's nice and big, and it's actually separated from the rest of the apartment, which is great. These are brand new wood paneling floors that my um, landlord put in for me before I moved in. Uh, they do damage pretty easily though, so they'll probably replace them again and maybe they'll charge me for it. I hope to God not. This is new as well. Hello, welcome to my apartment. This mirror and sink is new. Uh, they replaced this as well. And I did not have anything like this in my Hokkaido apartment, so this is an upgrade for me. Got a decent amount of cabin space here and up here as well. This is my sink. This is uh, a stove top, which I'm borrowing from the BOE. This is an oven, which I'm borrowing from the BOE because mine broke on the way down from Hokkaido. Microwave, rice cooker, 100% recommend getting a rice cooker. Uh, it will save you so much money. This is my refrigerator, this is my sister, my grandfather, and uh, this is my little red panda. 
Hello. This is my laundry machine that I brought down from Hokkaido. This is my shower. Hello. And this is the bathtub that I never use. This is the toilet. You know, your stereotypical toilet. Um, except, just like my Hokkaido apartment, you flush and you can wash your hands here and the water comes out down there, which is really nice. So yeah, that is the kitchen area for you. Nice and spacious. And it's nice having my own actual kitchen now with tiled walls too. So yeah, it's a nice place. I really like it. Okay, so enough about the kitchen. Let's move on to one of my favorite parts of the apartment, which is the living room. Welcome to my living space. So this is my sofa. This is where I sleep at night because it also turns into a bed. This is the kotatsu. This is a, it's a table, but there's a heater built in underneath. So you turn it on and you put your feet underneath. It'll keep your feet nice and warm in the winter. This is my TV that I brought down from uh, Hokkaido. This is a Christmas tree left behind by my predecessor, so I thought I should set it up. Those are my old LED lights that I brought down from Hokkaido. And here's my desk area with my heater. One thing I like about this apartment is that it has tatami mats. These are uh, traditional rice straw mats that you find in a traditional Japanese home. Not only rice straw, but they're made of other materials as well. Um, they're really cool to have, except they're very easy to get damaged or stained. So if you have any furniture, I recommend putting some kind of rug down. Like these wheels on my computer chair would completely tear up this tatami mat. And then anywhere if you want to eat, definitely put something down because you can get stains out with stuff like this but they are pretty difficult to get out. So enjoy the tatami mats, but enjoy them responsibly. Okay, on to the last room, which is the drum room. Here we go, drum roll please. That wasn't a drum roll. Da da da, da 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 da. Welcome to my new drum room. Oh, I love this room. Pretty much the same setup as I had in Hokkaido. Um, these are special symbols. Let me show you. So there are hundreds of holes in these symbols so that um, the sound can escape very easily. So these are mute, as you can see, mute symbols. But also just for an extra precaution, because um, they're a bit louder than the drums, I put um, these, I don't know what you call these, not blankets, but these cloths on there too to help uh, mute the sound a little bit. And these are the mesh heads on these drums. So we'll, here, listen to what it normally sounds, right? Normally, the snare drum sounds like this. And that's pretty loud. But with these mesh heads, much quieter. Let me play the bass drum as well. So as you can see, it's much quieter than a regular drum set. So I don't have problems with neighbors because of this. Still a little loud, but it doesn't really escape the room, which is nice. And then I also got a uh, an actual practice pad too, just in case. Because uh, there's a rule in my apartment that you can't play instruments past nine at night. Or the rule is that you can't really make a lot of loud noise past nine at night. But if I'm practicing on something... Oh, hang on. But if I'm practicing on something like this... Something like that, you know, doesn't cause any noise or anything. I've had this set up for a couple months now already in this apartment. And my landlord told me that she's got no complaints. My neighbors haven't heard anything, so it's been good. And same thing as before, uh, even though I live on the first floor, I put down a bath mat with like a kind of like a divider and then a wooden board on top of it so that no sound goes through into the floor and into the other apartments. Because maybe if I'm playing really hard, because um, you know, this, the insulation's not good in Japanese apartments. Maybe if I'm playing really loud, then it might like shake the floor a bit. So I did this just in case. So I recommend you do the same if you, um, you want to bring your drums to Japan. 
I was told that it was impossible to like play your drums in your apartment in Japan. Uh, but hey, you know, this goes to show you that, you know, with enough creativity and enough uh, motivation, you know, you can absolutely make it work. Um, I know I had a lot of turning heads when I told people that I was going to bring my drums to my Fukushima apartment. Everybody was in complete and utter disbelief. Um, but hey, you know, with enough determination, everything, giving the landlord a heads up and everything, I was able to make this work for me. And now I can just practice and have no problems. And I can have cool practices like this. <laughs> So that gives you a decent idea of uh, the volume and everything. So let me show you one cool thing that came with this apartment that didn't come with my last apartment, which was a little deck. So here's my deck. I haven't hung out here too much yet because uh, I came, I moved here in October, so it's starting to get cold. This is just a laundry thing. But um, you know, in the summertime, I plan on using this table that my predecessors left for me, getting a chair, a couple chairs here, just hanging out. Uh, Cause actually pretty nice you know watching the sunset look at that sunset look how awesome that is so yeah i think it'd be pretty cool so you guys are seeing my setup during the day i think you guys need to see my setup at nighttime as well with the led lights going and everything so let me show you guys come on let's go Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my new apartment. Uh, for $58 a month, this is awesome. Every situation is different though with the JET program. Um, if you're in a city, you're probably not gonna get any, get subsidized at all. You're probably not really get, gonna get any money uh, compared to the countryside where you'll probably get a bunch of deals, a bunch of free food, you know, free rent, and uh, you know, even like a free car that I've heard from some. <clears throat> jets which I'm very jealous of um, so every situation is different you could be in to in the middle of Tokyo or you could be on an island that's literally 24 hours by ferry uh, 24 hour ferry ride if you have any questions for the jet program please feel free to comment or any questions in general absolutely put in the comment section uh, I will answer eventually maybe not right away because if it's jet related I'll probably wait a bit longer to have more time on the jet program so I can give you a better answer. If it's a really good question, I might make a separate video out of it. In the meantime, I recommend you watch my other apartment video from my Interact apartment, Hokkaido. It is somewhere on this screen, either right now or it will be soon, because I don't, I still don't understand how YouTube works. So, hopefully it's somewhere here, along with one of my drum videos. So, please watch and enjoy, and I will see you guys soon.